all for the new video on short channel mass transistor in this video we'll be solving one particular problem on channel length modulation effect which was asked in gate 2015 ec first let us understand the problem statement on channel length modulation the current in an enhancement mode in mos transistor which is bias in saturation mode is measured to be 1 milliamps at drain to source voltage of 5 volt and when the drain to source voltage is increased to 6 volt while keeping the same gate to source voltage the drain current has been increased to 1.02 milliamps and also they have given us to assume that the drain to source saturation voltage is much smaller than the applied drain to source voltage so this is where people try to confuse because the question is little bit tricky but it is just for confusing the people those who read the question so just understand the statement is drain to source saturation voltage which is vd sat so this we have seen in our previous discussion on nmos transistor regions of operation and drain current derivation all the video links are shared in the description box below and in the i button so just look at all those things to have a better clarity and also the channel length modulation effect is explained in a separate video those video links are also shared okay so now this drain to source saturation voltage is nothing but vgs minus vd and they have told clearly that this parameter is going to be smaller than the applied vds which means it is understood that the transistor is operating in saturation region with all these given data we need to obtain the channel length modulation parameter lambda So this is the given data where the NMOS transistor is biased in saturation region, and I have also given the condition. And after reading the problem statement, we understood that when VDS was equal to five volt, my IDS was equal to one milliamps, and when VDS was increased to six volts, IDS was also increased to one point zero two milliamps, and both were for the same gate to source voltage. So now what we need to do is we need to first start writing the drain to source current equation including the effect of channel length modulation. This is the drain current equation including the channel length modulation effect. So the video link is shared below to refer about how to obtain this drain current when we discuss about the channel length modulation effect. So please do watch that to understand better how to derive the strain to source current for CLM effect. So once this equation is fixed from the given data we know that IDS1 was equal to 1 milliamp for VDS1 is equal to 5 volt and I had my IDS2 to be 1.02 milliamps for vds2 equal to 6 volt for same vgs so vgs there is no problem so let us just take the ratio between these two drain to source currents ids2 by ids1 will be equal to so all these 1 by 2 mu n c ox w by l vgs minus vth the whole square all these terms will cancel out because we have considered vgs to be equal and it is a single nmos transistor so for a single nmos enhancement load transistor all these parameters are going to be fixed so when you take the ratios they they are going to automatically get cancelled so we'll just rewrite the equation here as 1 plus lambda into vds2 because i'm writing the equation for ids2 and similarly this will be 1 plus lambda into vds1 so now just substitute the values it was 1.02 by 1 which is equal to 1 plus 6 into lambda plus 1 plus 5 lambda so when you just interchange all these things we will be getting 1 plus 5 lambda into 1.02 into 1 plus 6 lambda So when we just bring out all the lambda terms together, we'll be having 0.9 lambda equal to 0.02. Therefore, lambda, the channel length modulation parameter, is equal to 
zero two by zero point nine, which is equal to zero point zero two two volt inverse. So this is how we deal problems that are related to channel length modulation parameter. Always we need to remember that there is a different drain to source current equation for channel length modulation effect. Hope you all have understood how to solve a particular problem on channel length modulation effect for an NMOS transistor. So we will deal with other problems that are related to NMOS transistor very soon. Until then, stay safe. Thank you all for watching this video through Electronics Insight channel.